Well, all right, folks. It's Metal Man Eight Seven Three here today. How are you? All, how how is ev how is everyone doing today? And because I'm, I certainly feel fantastic. Well, anyway, for all, yep, again, I'm back in back here for a very very quick unboxing video for you folks as well. Because and oh yeah, oh, oh as well. Um, um, well, well, and also I'm a bit o overdue for do doing this as well. Well, a few we a few weeks ago, my birthday went by a few weeks ago, and then afterwards. And, and then a few and and a few of the new things which I picked up, uh, which either as presents or or this was um, I bought. I've, I've been getting myself a few new albums as well. So yeah. But anyway, I've got a few unboxing videos for you folks as well. So yep. Yeah, well anyway, we've got two more coming up later tonight, which I'm going to do. At the time it's now just after twenty five past four in the afternoon at the moment. So yep. Yeah, but anyway. We've got an album here which we're going to unbox, open up, and just basically just basically just have a peep into the cauldron, basically, or into the ball pit. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, liquid gold. So yeah, well anyway, well anyway, and the first album is an album by the band Slade, who, who um, as well, um, who, who as well, I'm not normally known by most people for a Christmas song which I'm going to do, which. Which um which I won't name I mentioned but and, and and also as well they've also released albums of their own as well so yep yeah. well anyway um I've been looking, anyway um a long time ago I listened to quite a few of their albums actually you know more of the songs more of the songs and even I've even bought myself an album as well which the, which was the album for this one called Death Till Death Do Us Part and then a couple of, a couple of years later they came out with this so yep. Yeah. This is actually one of the later Slade albums, by the way. This one came out in 1983, and I'm not sure if you can see the title on there. That's called The Amazing Kamikaze Syndrome as well. So, yep, basically. And, oh, yep, yeah, but this was basically released during the time when Slade were having a five-year revival at the time, basically. So, yep, well, anyway. So, yep, and after hearing a couple of songs from this album, I decided to get this for myself, and so, yep. Yeah. Quite fancied it basically. So yep, yeah, right, well anyway, we're gonna have a look around the album and and unbox it up as well. So yep, yeah, well here's the front cover, the amazing kamikaze syndrome. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know as well? The electronic prayers had been answered. <laughs> or could be. So yep. Yeah, front. Front on there. Yep. Yeah, remaster on there. It says feel the noise. Feel the noise. On the side. On here, here is the back. On here, um, on here with the track of and also the on there and what have you. So yep, and had a also had their final two hit songs on this album as well. And yep, well, this is actually a remaster by the way as well. So yep, and also as well, this was also their biggest. North American album as well because a few months after when when this after when this came out this came out in America a few months later under the name Keep Your Hands Off Me Off My Power Supply well it's basically the same album as this but a couple a couple of tracks got reworked basically so yeah we are going to open this up right right yeah get me nail in there yeah that's it Right, get me nail on here, and also this also boasted their last two top ten singles as well. This had My Oh My, which reached number two in 1983, and they were competed for the Christmas number one. And oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh, and also as well, ten years, and also back in the 70s as well, as well. And I've, I forgot to mention, I've also done a five part. History video about you know, about the band as well. We're, we're talk about their history, talk about the history, and a bit of the eighties comes up as well. So yeah, you see if they have about so yeah they had about six number six number ones in the seventies, and and also and also quite also quite a few albums, and and according to one place they sold about fifty million, and oh yeah, and some of the music on these albums are very very good as well. So yeah, basically. Oh. <laughs> it doesn't want to be free today, does it? Really 
I don't know where that came from. So, yep, right. Anyway, here is the album. Comes in this, comes in here, in this case. We're going to get this out. Comes in this smoothie case. Here we go. Yep. Ta da! Here we go. There is. <laughs> yep, front cover. On the back. So, yep, so, yep this came out. And you're know, during their revival period in the 1980s as well, so yeah. And also, I forgot to, and to mention, also had Run Runaway, their last top 10 single as well in 1984 as well, so yeah. But anyway, I'm gonna have a proper look, proper stick this on somewhere, anyway, and have a, have a bit of a listen about to this as well, so yeah. Right, anyway, that's about it for this video, folks, and. Also, we'll have a two more unboxing videos coming up in order tonight, and also, so yeah. Well, anyway, and also, I, I'll, I'll just like to quickly apologise for the occasional, just for the occasional time you know, in between which I do, which I do videos now and again because I've just been so so big. I've just been very very busy with um with other things what I've been doing basically. So yeah, and. Right, I've got, I've got a bit of my time freed up again, so the good news is I might be able to make some more again, so yeah. Well anyway, cheerio for now folks, and I'll see you there.